Good morning. Whoa. Feedback there. Alrighty. My name is Marquita Gooch, and I'm the Assistant Director for Technology and Training for the Clayton County Library System. Uh, if at any time my sound goes out or gets a little muffled, uh, just let me know in the comments or unmute yourself really quickly and let me know that you cannot hear me um, or cannot see the screen or anything like that. Uh, so uh, once again, welcome to Applied Digital Skills. Uh, it's an introduction to uh, Google's uh, online video-based uh, digital literacy curriculum. Uh, so we'll just go ahead and jump right on in. All right, so today we will explore uh, the curriculum that teaches uh, students of all ages how to, uh, for instance, research and compare car loans using different spreadsheets. Uh, so you'll be able to compare and contrast those two things while also learning the different formulas within the spreadsheets. And all of these uh, materials are found right within Google, many of them uh, at no cost to the, the learner. Uh, we'll also learn about creating a plan for a new job hunt um, and simultaneously learn how to prepare for a job interview. Or uh, how to manage a project while learning data analysis and presentation design. So let's talk about why we are here. Uh, again, we're talking about applied digital skills, which in our current pandemic situation uh, is becoming more and more important and marketable to uh, job seekers uh, and to employers that are hiring uh, to entrepreneurs uh, and to college students um, as well. Uh, in this presentation, uh, we will give you a brief overview uh, of applied digital skills, take a deeper look into the curricular lessons uh, that Google offers, uh, and then we'll finish up with a guide on how to set up your first applied digital skills class, um, primarily as an instructor, but it's also beneficial for um, learning as well. All right, so why are we here today? People today need digital literacy skills to be successful in any career field. Um, Google believes that all students should have an opportunity to meaningfully engage with technical skills of the future because learners today need a basic digital literacy skills to be successful in any career in any field. Uh, the primary skills are known as the four C's, so communication, collaboration, creativity, and critical thinking. Um, and it's increasingly important to be able to exercise these skills within a digital environment. Um, this holds true for life, um, and in particular for jobs that are growing in our own communities. So we know that the job market uh, is changing um, and changing rapidly. Uh, it's something that we see and feel every single day, um, and the pace of the change uh, is only is expected um, to increase. Uh, that's why it is increasingly important that we prepare students for success within the job market. So less than half of 18 to 25 year olds believe their education gives them the skills they need to enter the workforce. Uh, the youth unemployment rate is at a seven-year high, um, and more and more jobs are requiring skills that aren't commonly taught today. And you can see on the screen some of the percentages um, affecting um, the job market uh, today, and the sources are down at the bottom. So while this is a huge challenge, um, we can also look at it as an opportunity. 
Uh, it's a chance for us to help equip learners with practical digital skills and prepare them for life outside of the classroom. Um, part of this means understanding that roughly half of job openings in the U.S. today require at least a high school diploma, but not necessarily a four-year college degree. These jobs include those that are part of the growing middle skill category that require the demonstration of di digital skills. Um, and research tells us, this is what research tells us and is also what educators have mentioned for years. So in response to all of that, Google has developed applied digital skills. Uh, it is a free video-based and online curriculum that prepares learners of all ages for the growing number of jobs that require basic digital skills. Uh, they split the curriculum into two parts, one that is designed for middle and high school students and another that's designed for adult learners in spaces like community college, workforce development trainings, libraries of course, um, and most recently at home. All right, so what does it mean to have applied digital skills? Well, it means that the curriculum has been designed to equip learners with practical learning skills that will help them succeed in not only the evolving job market, but also in practical life situations. So digital skills uh, in comparison comparison to practical life skills brings together uh, brings them together to develop unique projects. Uh, Google's curriculum is a set of videos that learners can watch to obtain step-by-step -step instruction on how to, for example, create a household or office budget using spreadsheets. Uh, in this process, uh, students get new digital skills, but also come out of a specific unit with a real project like a budget. Uh, the Applied Digital Skills coursework has over 50 hours of content uh, for college and continuing education um, that range from topics like budgeting, as we mentioned before, and also finding a job. It focuses on teaching learners not only the digital skills they need, but doing so by linking them with project-based practical life skills and again, the four C's. Uh, by engaging learners in video-based instruction in collaborative projects, uh, the curriculum aims to support the facilitator or the teacher in providing more personalized support and instruction to uh, specific learners. And as you can see in the slide down here, uh, Google not only has built this curriculum, but they built it around the free um, G Suite apps. So you have your Google Sheets, your Google Docs, Google Sites, Google, Google Forms, uh, so on and so forth. Speaking of G Suite, <laughs> um, it is the only cloud-native intelligent productivity and collaboration suite, and it includes uh, primary sets of apps. So Gmail can kind of be considered the equivalent to uh, Microsoft Outlook, Google Docs is the equivalent to Microsoft Word, Google Slides is the equivalent to um, Microsoft PowerPoint, um, and some would argue that Google Drive is similar to or equivalent to um, Dropbox or OneDrive, which is also offered through Microsoft. Um, and they have several other applications that, again, are completely free to use as long as you have a Gmail account. Uh, since the program was launched in 2017, there have been over 170,000 students across the country that have been using the curriculum uh, with either their public librarian assistants through classes like this, or their library media specialists in schools and colleges, or instructors in classes um, as 
wide ranging as business and technology to computer basics. Uh, the content, um, it's free, flexible, and easy to use. Um, it's split up into lessons. Uh, one of those lessons includes uh, using Google tools to get a new job, um, as you can see in the slide here. Um, the lessons are modular, so they can be taught as full curriculum or one-off um, as an enrichment course. So you can teach it as a full course load, or you can pick and choose segments from each module um, to highlight uh, your own skills and the skills of your students. Um, again, video-based learning style um, offers self-directed and adaptable learning paces um, and is also trackable uh, by the facilitator. So if you set up a classroom, give your students an assignment, um, as the facilitator or teacher, you can actually track their progress um, as they go through uh, each of the modules or each of the lessons that you've highlighted for um, whatever learning outcome you want your students to have. All right. So let's take a little uh, look inside the curriculum and how people are actually using Google's applied digital skills. Excuse me, one moment. All right. So use Google to get a new job. Uh, lessons like these go through basic activities like researching and finding jobs within your community, developing resumes, preparing for interviews, and creating job plans uh, to help better develop skills needed for a successful new job hunt. And so as you can see, these are some examples. Uh, the top slide is just an overview. So getting a job in Pittsburgh, the notes from the students, popular jobs found within the Pittsburgh area, etc. And then right below, you'll see a screenshot of Google Docs and how someone creates uh, or created a resume within Google Docs. Again, completely free apps to use as long as you have a Gmail uh, email address. Um, I've found it really helpful um, in my personal job searching to have a resume um, at the ready within Google Docs because if I see something while I'm out or I meet someone and they say, hey, you know, just shoot me your resume, you know, I'll take a look. As long as I have Google Drive installed on my phone and the email app, I can download or I can actually send my resume from within the Google Drive directly to someone's email address, provided that they have a Gmail too. If not, you can go into your Google Drive download your resume directly to your phone. I've done it many a time um, as a PDF and email it to that person. I've done that, oh gosh, a handful of times as a matter of fact, um, and other documents as well. So it's a really neat tool um, to have if you don't already have those applications installed on your smartphone. We talked earlier about planning a budget. Uh, this is a screenshot of Google Sheets, again, Google Sheets is the equivalent to Microsoft Excel. Um, so lessons like plan a budget uh, will help you to develop practical life skills uh, like critical thinking. Um, as you develop budgets for contractual purchases like a phone, a data plan, or car loans, uh, within the process, and you can see that in these images, um, People utilizing the uh, this particular course will learn how to use spreadsheets, uh, conduct data analysis, um, and construct visual data. Um, what we mean by visual data is taking the information from the spreadsheet itself and converting it into the chart, which is what you see in the bottom right-hand corner. Um, digital tools for everyday tasks focuses on foundational skills like setting up an email account or learning how to um, successfully use your email, uh, creating and starting to collaborate on documents and conducting inter internet searches. All right. uh, so the lessons that Google offers are widespread. They offer 
uh, so, so many things, and you can see a sample of some of the lessons that they offer uh, within the Applied Digital Skills lessons. Um, again, quite a few of the lessons are designed for middle and high school students, um, but they do have quite a few for adult learners. Um, and again, as a facilitator, you sort of decide which lessons work best for your group of students. And you can take advantage of this yourself as well. Um, after this, it may take some time, but we will set up a classroom from the library um, and post that across all of our social media and website for patrons to take advantage of as well. All right, so next section, uh, we're going to talk a little bit about setting up a class um, and how you can begin teaching applied digital skills yourself. So, of course, the first thing you do is to go uh, to the Applied Digital Skills website. Um, you'll be prompted to sign in. And um, if you don't have an account, you can always go to Google or sign up right there within the uh, Applied Digital Skills site, and they'll create an account, a Google account for you uh, right there. Uh, because you do have to have a, a Gmail account in order to take advantage of the um, lesson plans. So you'll choose your role. As you can see in the screenshot, um, they give you the option of I am a student or I am a teacher. Uh, for today's purposes, we're going to go with I am a teacher because we're walking you through how to set up your own classroom um, to facilitate these courses to your students or to your staff, your employees. If you're a small business, um, this would be really helpful if you're trying to do some um, professional development for your staff or just to get them to stay abreast of the latest in digital skills and technologies. Um, Uh, so next, set up your profile. Uh, it'll ask you some general questions. So your name, it'll ask you if you want to be contacted by Google with further information about uh, applied digital skills um, and just general information that you would normally do um, if you're enrolling in some sort of online classes. All right. Again, as a facilitator, your next step would be to create a class and share the class code uh, with your students or your staff members, employees. Um, and so every class will come with a unique class code that you can share with your learners uh, so they can join your, your specific class. And once that's done, uh, they can start you're ready to start using the curriculum. Uh, you can browse the lessons and choose the one or ones um, that you would like to teach to uh, your staff or your learners or students. Uh, the curriculum section of the website features descriptions of all of the lessons, including the time required uh, for each lesson and the skills that are taught within those lessons. Uh, next, you can just add lessons to your class. Uh, again, top right hand corner of the screen, you'll see the, uh, the button with the plus sign and it says add lessons. It honestly is just that simple. You click it, it'll take you to the screen below where it says add lessons to class and then you select whichever ones that you want. If you pay attention, the tab that's highlighted is middle and high school, but you can also select the adult learners tab and add classes um, and add lessons, I'm sorry, from that section to your classroom as well. And then once everything is set up, your students have your class code and they've joined in, they can begin their, their lessons. Um, it'll start with a welcome video. Um, it'll walk them through how to actually get started. And then they can go right down to where it says my classes, see the lessons that are listed, um, and begin learning. Cool. 
So that pretty much covers the overview of Applied Digital Skills. Um, the email listed, Applied Digital Skills at Google, goes directly to the Google team. So if you have issues with setting up your classroom or have issues with some of the lessons, you can always reach out to them. Um, they are very prompt and, and quick with the responses, um, and they're always super helpful um, with the basics of, of everything that is offered. Um, some of the links, so again, to get started to set up with the Applied Digital Skills, it's right there. Um, there's some links on a guide to starting your first course. There's a one-page overview of the curriculum itself. Um, and then they also have a link for the Frequently Asked Questions section. All right. So be looking forward to, uh, if you registered for this class, be looking forward to a follow-up email. Um, also look forward to another email uh, coming from the library announcing that our Applied Digital Skills class is live uh, and ready to go. Um, and as always, if you have any questions, you can find us uh, on our website, www.claytonpl.org. Uh, you can also find us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have people manning all of those channels to answer any and all of your questions. All right. Thank you very much for joining us today for this brief overview, again, of Google's video-based applied digital skills coursework. Uh, and again, look forward to uh, an email from the library announcing that our Applied Skills Classroom is live and ready to be used. Thank you for joining us.